What's up everyone? The first eviction day of Big Brother 24 has finally arrived, but it seems as though that is not going to be the only person leaving the house in the first week of BB24. We've got so, so much to talk about, so welcome to your live feed update. Alright folks, now right before we get started, if you have not already, I would appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and also please hit the like button and the bell icon to get notified every single time a brand new upload goes live on the channel. Alright now quick announcement before we head into the live feed update, stick around at the end for a nice little surprise, um, but it is a very much um, speculation kind of a day in the Big Brother house and outside of the Big Brother house as well, the social media streets have been bombarded with speculation and rumours and all kinds of stuff going around so we're going to pull that all together right now and try and make sense of what's happening. So we start the day where Britney's kind of panicking a little bit about uh, the backstage twist. Of course they don't know what's going on yet and Britney doesn't know that she's probably the lead vote getter in uh, in the three of Paloma, Alyssa and Britney. At least I hope she is. I would be crushed if that's not the case. Um, but yeah so the, there's the panic going around there and she was talking to Michael and they basically said it's okay Britney just lay low. Don't talk much game. Don't get a target on your back. But the the fact of the matter is, if Pooch has to choose somebody out of the three, he has expressed that he would, if he had to basically throw someone under the bus, he said it would be Britney. All the more reason to vote for Britney to stay in that house to keep her safe with the backstage twist. It would suck to see Britney go. Um, but having said all this that I'm talking about right now, what's actually been going on might affect the backstage twist anyway, and it might not even matter in the end. But yeah, that was kind of the morning in the house. It was very much kind of chill there's not a lot of game talk really going on this week because of the fact that everybody's kind of ganged up on taylor it's kind of game set match in regards to sending her out the door but the question is is she actually going to become the first out of the door and also is she going to stay out the door now Taylor was talking about her position in the game saying that if she um, if she gets into the position of power or basically where she has a chance to get off the block with the backstage twist she was saying you know I need to yeah, you know, Paloma's not an option, which is crazy to me anyway for a start, which means all the gaslighting that Paloma's done to uh, done to Taylor has worked and Taylor believes she's truly got her back. I guess some would call it good gameplay. You can kind of level it out and say one side, that's good that she's managed to make her believe that. And then the other side of it is just awful due to the way she has treated Taylor all week. Uh, I'm definitely in that side of things because it's. Uh, I saw somebody put a comment on um, the other day and I, I loved it and it, it just hit the nail on the head so well. Um, where somebody said on one of my videos, it, I think it was something along the lines of anyway, I'm going to try and quote this. It's a game until you make it not about the game, if that makes sense. I saw someone put that and I was thinking that was a beautiful comment and it's so true and Paloma made it not about the game. She went for Taylor on a personal level, which ain't very nice. Um, and she only knew for a couple of days there were so many assumptions made, etc. But anyway, Taylor's saying that in that scenario, Paloma's not an option. I've got to get down and put Brittany up, which is, again, oh, it's awful because Brittany's more likely to have Taylor's back. But I get it, Taylor's back's against the wall. She's got to do what she's got to do. Um, it's just a shame that she can't see the full picture due to the way people have treated her and, and kind of ostracised her and gaslit her into oblivion, basically. Um, but I think Taylor will realise after the season that... Paloma was actually the ringleader in everything that's going on in the controversy of Big Brother 24. Now, while Brittany is a hypnotherapist, she um, gathered the majority of the house guests in the living room and led them in like a therapy kind of session and... Everybody, and she does. She hasn't told everybody that she's a hypnotherapist because we obviously saw her in the episode where she said, um, didn't she say she works with toys and kids or something like that? I can't remember what it was, but either way, she didn't say she was a hypnotherapist, but she led the group in uh, like a relaxation kind of thing and everybody was like, that was amazing, that was so, so good. And I'm like, that was close. That was quite brilliant for your social game to do something like that, but equally it can do damage to your social game if people go damn, Britney's good, you know, but I don't think they're going to put two and two together that she's a hypnotherapist because that would be, um, I don't know, I mean, I, it would be random to kind of do that because, I mean, there's so many people in the Big Brother house of, of years gone past where they've led, like, relaxation yoga meditation sessions and nobody's gone, oh, they're a yoga therapist or whatever, you know, no one's ever done that, so, um, yeah, I don't think that conclusion's going to arrive, but there you go, I mean, Britney's work on a social game, I think she's just trying to cover all angles to ensure that if the backstage twist does backfire on her, She's a little more covered. But it's weird because I think America loves Britney more than the house does. Um, again, it's a, it's, a, it's a pattern. It's the people that America likes that the house turns on. 
kind of sucks, but hey-ho. Um, yeah, so that, that happened there. And Paloma wasn't there at this point, so we're going to get on to Paloma very, very shortly. She'd been missing for a lot of the day. Um, I couldn't tell you exactly when she went, but she'd been missing for a lot of the day, and the speculation started to go, and the wheels started to turn on the rumours on social media. The house wasn't talking about it that much. I don't know if production had basically said, don't discuss it, whatever. Um, but yeah... That happened. Paloma wasn't there all day. Then all of a sudden, the feed's cut. Let's talk about that. Okay, so yeah, as of now, as I'm recording this video, the feeds, the live feeds, have been down for nearly 11 hours, um, which is a lot of time for the feeds to be down. It's not like a competition's being run or anything like that. The vetoes happened this week. Head of household happened on night one, and um, it wasn't like they were practicing a comp either. The feeds have literally been down for nearly 11 hours now, and obviously when this goes up, it's probably going to be more if the feeds haven't came back. Um, so, word on the street is that Paloma is no longer in the Big Brother house. She has left. She is gone. She has not returned to the game. Paloma is the first person out of Big Brother 24, if you don't count Marvin. Now, the source that says this, uh, I'm going off um, Hamster Watch on Twitter. They tweeted out because everybody's kind of scrambling going, I think she's probably gone. It was a fair assumption that she would go um, when the feeds went down for that long, but Hamster Watch said that they have a source um, that have said that they're gone, so I'm... Everybody seems to be taking Hamster Watch's word. And Hamster Watch, brilliant, can't uh, can't big them up enough. They're just fantastic on feeds, updates, and everything like that. So I do, um, I do believe this that she is gone. And um, yeah, I don't know where to start with this one because I think the topic of mental health has been brought up a lot over the past few days with Paloma, and this is where I stand with this one. I hope that Paloma is okay. She's obviously Tret Taylor like absolute crap, and I don't condone that for a second, but I hope she's okay. Mental health is no joke. Um and I hope she I hope if it is that I don't want it like yeah, and I don't want to emphasize this as well. I don't want everybody, you know, becoming mental health experts and trying to diagnose it in the comment section. Please do not do that if you are not trained. Um So yeah, I don't know. It's it's a weird one, but I if, if if I'm saying this is an if 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 it is to do with mental health, then I really hope she's okay and I hope she gets the help that she needs and feels better and I hope she reflects on her time in the game and makes the appropriate apologies to Taylor afterwards um, because I I still don't condone any of the behaviour she's had towards Taylor. It has been bullying. It has been uh, very mean girlish and clicky and gang handed and I don't like that at all and I don't respect it. But having said all that. I do hope she's okay on a mental health level and um, I hope she feels better soon. But like I say, just because you've done that, you still need to be held accountable for the way she is. Tread Taylor, so um, yeah, that's happened there. Now, the question is, did she leave or was she forced? Was she, was she ejected out of the game by the producers? Because it's difficult to say. I mean, looking at the edit, it seems like the producers like Paloma because she's getting a lot of screen time. So the last thing they'd probably want to do is get rid of her. They'd probably want to keep her under as many circumstances as they can um, until it's not possible. I don't know if maybe... We could, we could speculate all day. We could literally speculate all day on what happened if she walked or if she was ejected. But the fact of the matter is it seems like she is out of the house and no longer returning. So I guess the next question would be, is there going to be an eviction tonight? Because that's the thing that everybody else is talking about now. Are we actually going to get somebody evicted out of Terence and Taylor that sat on the block? Now, here's my thought on this one. I feel like eviction will still go ahead, ahead tonight. Um, I don't think it should, if I'm being totally honest. I feel like they should take the episode to address what's going on with Paloma so we can shed some light on the situation. And also... Shed some light on how Taylor's been treated as well. I would like to see some more footage of that. Um, because I feel like an eviction, if they do one tonight, they're probably going to have to cancel a double or shorten a triple or whatever later down the line. However, I'll take that. I don't like triples. I like doubles. So if they've got to, you know, squash down a triple and turn that into a double, I'll take that. But if they have to cancel the double, I do not like that. The double is the moment in the season where it's the climax and, you know, most of the tension that's been building up get hyped up onto that night. So I would hate to think that that would cut the double. Um, so ideally, I, I do think a live show would still be good tonight um, because there is serious issues to talk about in tonight's show. If they do talk about that, I'm hoping that they, they, they do address the situation and don't go around it. But 
Yeah, I, d- I don't necessarily think the eviction should go tonight. I, I, I don't have a clue if it will or not. Who knows? And also the backstage twist, because word on the street was the fact that Britney was probably going to be saved by America from the vote, and then Pooch would have to choose between Paloma and Alyssa, who would go up against the evicted house guest, B and Taylor, the battle, and then the, the person who wins the comp stays in the house becomes the backstage boss. Again, just a rumour right now. But now the only scenario I can think of in that case, if they continue to go through with the eviction, it would be Taylor gets evicted, Britney is saved by America, Alyssa's the only one there out of her and Paloma, so then Alyssa would have to go head-to-head against Taylor, and then whoever wins in the competition between Alyssa and Taylor stays in the house and the other one goes home. Again, it's all just speculation right now, folks, but yeah, that's... uh, that's where that's where we're up to with today's live feed update because there isn't that much more to talk about since feeds have been down for half the day and obviously the Paloma talking point is a huge talking point and yeah I'll just uh, I'll I'll bring it back around again and just say I hope she's okay I hope she gets the help she needs if it is mental health related and then I hope she can reflect and make the appropriate apologies to Taylor afterwards. That is all of your live feed updates for today, folks. I thoroughly hope you all enjoyed watching. Please let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. And um, I just want to say, especially today, with so many touchy subjects with mental health, with the bullying of Taylor that's been happening, please think before you press send in that comment section if you're going to say something thoughtless or whatever. I know Paloma has been very cruel towards Taylor, but it doesn't mean we have to go to that level and say all those horrible things, or anybody has to. So please just think before you type i will say um yeah it's 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 a tough one it's been a crazy first week of big brother it's been unprecedented i don't think any of us could have predicted it at all but anyway i said at the beginning stick around to the end for a nice little surprise so folks a nice little surprise if you consider this consider this a surprise is i'm going live tonight before the episode slash eviction if it is still going to be an eviction either way i'll be going live an hour before the show for some q a just general chit chat some pre uh pre episode um fun i guess we'll call it folks i'm going to try and do that every single week um this season before the eviction night so yeah that should be great fun so join me there folks um and i'll i'll um i'll put the the link in the description for that and yeah i appreciate everybody for watching make sure that you let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below um make sure that you're staying safe staying positive and staying healthy out there and remember to be kind to one another but in the meantime please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe do all of that good stuff but until your next live feed update i've been your host tom vasey good night